Hello everybody and welcome to Innocent Just Plays Civilization 5 as Russia. Last episode we took over London from the poor English. Uh, apparently they have a city here as well. And I'm not really interested in fighting a war with them anymore. But they will not peace out yet so I will crush some of their units. And yeah, we'll make up for the final push against our final enemy, enemy, which is Attila. We have some units are standing ready at this border. We will now use the units from uh, this side as well, and together we should be e able to easily kill him really quickly. Hopefully, we'll see. Um, move over there. You cannot attack anymore, so just move up. Just wait. You can also wait. I want the artillery a little bit in position to be able to strike at units and everything like that from uh, Bristol. And the Kozak can be behind that as a quickly push through line. You fortify Scouting a bit, scouting a bit. Choose production. Not go for international games. I don't care. Heal. Uh, wait, wait. Move here. Move over here. Alert. Set up. Set up and alert. Okay. I think it will be like two turns before we start declaring war on Attila. I don't think it should be much longer. He has a quite a force though. But I should definitely be able to beat him. So we're going through Straya Rus, through Bristol and then to Attila's court. I want to make the big swoop. Just because I can. So now London will prob uh, England will recognize I took London and should be willing to declare peace. Let's see. Negotiate peace. No? Even after I took London? Oh, you silly Englishman. You have something like fried? I don't believe it. Um. Yeah, let's go over here. Let's move up. Let's move you up. Let's move everybody up. Everybody gets up. Yeah, it's just moving a lot of artillery. In four turns we get rocket artillery, but I don't think we actually have to use it. We can adopt the policy. Uh, fast grid scientist. Alert, set up and alert, set up and alert, 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 set up, alert, alert, wait a bit, move up, alert, next turn. I hope uh, England will actually be negotiating peace with me qui quickly, because I don't really feel like waiting. So looking like this, I think I should probably focus a lot on killing his units first. And after that, perhaps start bombarding the cities. The cities should probably fall really quickly. We saw London, how quickly it fell, and it had a lot more defense than these two. Attila's court has a bit more defense, but even that would probably fall quickly. Uh, great scientists. So, are you at war with Attila? Huh, because he's launching a sneak attack on Nottingham apparently. Yeah, I will just be you. Give me rocketry. So, any artillery that. well. No setup costs. Yeah, I will upgrade you. More power, no setup cost. Any artillery that will be in my. Uh, area 
are. After I take these cities, we'll be upgraded. It's expensive, like super expensive, so the priority lays with those that are already really good. But yeah, as soon as I think I can afford to upgrade as many as possible. Uh, let's take this Cossack over there. You can go down a bit. Uh, choose my research. Let's go for future check. I can't be bothered with it anymore. We almost won. And I'm actually curious if we have some uranium. So that's not that bad. Uh, do we declare war this turn? We're not set up completely optimal, but we can do a lot of damage. Yeah. Let's just wait. There's a lot of artillery still coming. Yeah, the fact that the turns get slower and slower is mainly because of all the calculations that the computer has to do. That happens when you get late into the game. So, you're actually the strongest unit we have right now. Yeah, this is the most upgraded guy ever, level 7. I don't think I ever had a level 7 in my life before. So yeah, I achieved something new to this uh, game. That's good. Uh, let's see, you can move around here-ish. You can set up and alert. Construct your railroad. Set up and wait, set up and wait, set up and wait, set up and wait. Yeah, next turn we will start uh, to declare war. There's nothing really much to do. Uh, give me money. Next turn. Pretty much all the artillery I have is, is close. Even he can bar twice. One, two, three. Yeah, he can bombard a lot of units. And if I lose a couple, I mean, it's not like I don't have enough of them. <laughs> we should have more than enough. I don't think we'll take either Traia Rusa or Bristol, like, immediately, but we don't have to. And we completed the games, like, massively. So more happiness and a free policy and maybe some uranium. More science. Uh, yeah, patriotic war. Seems like a good idea. Fitting. This production, wealth. We just need money so we can upgrade our artillery. Everybody goes to wealth. I don't even think I can finish the world's fair. Even if I try to rule all my cities before the game is over. Well, maybe. But wealth is more important right now. Okay. Oh, I have a spy, a spy, a spy. So I have to declare it the other way. Negotiate peace. You don't want. Then I will declare war. Like this. Okay, now, let's see, you can bombard, uh, do we prioritize the city or the units, well, would you the unit, would you uh, this unit, would you, there are multiple units, but you can kill this guy, so, uh, this unit, with you, it's also this unit, you can almost kill him, him. You can bombard the city. You can bombard absolutely nothing. So move you up over there. And move you over there. And let's do the bombardment over here. So you can strike at this guy. You can set up and fire at the same guy. 
you can also fire at this guy and I can easily kill him. He's in the city. Uh, you rocket artillery, you can fire, you can kill one shot. This guy, you can almost do one shot at all those guys. So, fire this guy. Set up, fire, kill. Ah, uh, ju not just yet, close. Uh, fire. One, two, set up, fire, one. You can strike at the city, but I don't think that would do much. Just try to kill this unit. And like this, you kill it. Kill it like that. Fire at him once. And fire at him here. You can strike at this guy. Uh, okay. We got one source of uranium. Three sources. I got pretty much half the world map and I have three sources of uranium. Oh well, at least the rest don't get a lot of it either. Um, yeah, you're, you're good. Just go over there. Move you up a bit. Give you at the border. You up a bit and next turn. We lost uh, one guy, two guys. Oh, they're oh, in the south as well. Here and here. But like I said before, Cossacks are really not that important anymore. I think I will start bombarding the city now. This unit needs to go, so unit that cannot bombard the city will bombard him. I think I will keep him on like destruction duty. You can lay some bombardments over there. You can kill him. No, you can't. You can actually not reach anything. You can reach him though. And you can reach the city. So can you. And you. And you should be able to as well. And I'm walking in. Raise. Uh, Creep puppet gives less unhappiness at the moment. You set up and bombard over here. You bombard nowhere, so move up. You should also move up. Actually, this guy should move up as well. Uh, let's move you over there. Let's move you over here. You should pillage, move. Village, uh, move back. Kozak that's ready for striking at the enemy. Can you bombard anybody? No. I will move you in a moment then. Kill him. Kill him. <laughs> that's super strong. <laughs> Just like it's nothing. You still have your two movement, so you can move over there. You move up over here. Uh, well, wait then. Move twice to there. Move up over there. And you can just... Let's go over here. And you can bombard the city or the unit. Uh, let's go for the city. Wait, wait, I can attack and then pillage actually. Yeah, that's better. Next turn. Oh, yeah, wait. Now we can do next turn.
turn. Uh, sure, lots of peace. I should not forget to upgrade the ones that are actually in my territory. The artilleries. Because they can become awesome rocket artillery like you've seen here and <laughs> it does a lot of damage. Yeah, it can one shot lot of those weaker units of him and um, let's move you up the only downside is it's still a bit slow cross the river move one up a bit move one over there you can still bombard over here this infantry can then kill him or can't apparently, but you can. Uh, let's see. Folly is super good, so you go there and upgrade. Well, Folly is not that good, but at least it's better than no upgrade, right? Uh, move over there. Rail and move up. Then let's apply some damage on Bristol. Also, this goes actually try to kill this unit. Now loot. Move in. You can automate. Uh, set up. Bombard. Shoot. One, two, three cannot reach uh, move up over there I guess this Cossack should move this way you can move up here and fortify you can still do that you can go here pillage oh Right, river crossing. I should have gone over there. Fine. Go over there uh, next turn. Yeah, that's what happens. You you, you get pretty much if when you beat the world like this, then you get close to many kinds of victories. I just thought that was a city dot, but there was no city, of course. So I think Bristol will fall this turn. Should be. I have uh, units next to it and everything, so... And then it's just a small walk to Attila's Court. Let's start here. Um, you bombard Bristol. This should be enough for this infantry to take it, but let's do it with the Kozak. Create a puppet for now. Up, uh, use one move and then upgrade. Steal uh, this guy while well, not really stealing as much as destroying him. And then try to move out of the way as much as possible. So let's see, uh, if I move here, then next turn I can lay down some destruction, destroy, move here, almost destroy him, oh there's actually a guy over there, <laughs> I didn't even notice him, hello guy, bye bye. Uh, that move one up, upgrade, upgrade, and you can move over there, move over there, move here, move here, get back in the city.
Okay. So we're almost there, but the last city will be in the next and probably the last episode for this series. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye.